What is happening gamers? This is Bradley and welcome back to another news roundup. In the good old Japanese Koro Koro magazine has given us some fresh new details about Pokemon X and Y. So recently in one of my past news videos I mentioned that maybe Mewtwo would have two mega evolutions with one being present in X and then the other one being in Y. And well that is exactly what is happening. We already know about one of the mega evolutions that's known as Mega Mewtwo Y and it's exclusive to Pokemon Y and it has more of a Mew vibe to it. While the one that's going to be exclusive to X is known as Mega Mewtwo X and it has more of a Mewtwo vibe to it, and he is actually a psychic fighting type, so maybe this will help sway you in which version of the game you want to get, but along with that we have another Pokemon that has been revealed to be getting a Mega Evolution, and that Pokemon being Garchomp. And well, his Mega Evolution has more spikes, so yeah. And we also have more clarification on what fairy types will be strong and weak against, so we now know that they will be super effective against fighting, dark, and dragon types, while not being effective against fire, poison, or steel types. Plus, they will be weak against poison and steel while resisting fighting dark and bug types. Plus, they are immune to dragon. Now, Koro Koro also gave us a look at some more new Pokemon that I'm not going to be elaborating on in this video, but if you want to check out the second evolutions for the starter Pokemon Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie, along with just some Pokemon that you'll find out in the field, like a T-Rex, there'll be a link in the description below to my blog where you can take a gander at them. Now, with the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker getting the HD treatment on the Wii U, maybe you're hoping that more past Zelda games will be getting the HD treatment. And, well, AJ Anuma, who is the search producer, producer for Zelda is not ruling out the possibility of that happening. So when he was asked about Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword going HD, he replied by stating that he can't really do it right now because he needs to focus on the brand spanking new installment in the series. But he did state that maybe someone else can do it. So I wouldn't mind more HD remakes. I'm sure people would like to see Majora's Mask on the Wii U in HD, even though that would be quite a bit to work. As long as they continue to make new installments in the series and just outsource the HD remakes to another company like Grezzo with like what they did with Ocarina of Time 3. D, that wouldn't really be much of a big deal, but it might be a little too soon to do a Skyward Sword remake. And in some Kickstarter news that Mighty Number no. 9 is inching closer and closer towards that Wii U stretch goal. The game has managed to raise over $2 million so far, and there's still like 20 days left on Kickstarter. Now that $2 million mark does mean that a new stretch goal is hit, so they will be adding a boss rush mode into the game. Now they just need to raise about $200,000 more for that Wii U version to happen, and it's bound to happen. And finally is that there's a new Kingdom Hearts teaser website that has opened up known as Project Destate or something like that. It's named after a musical theme in Kingdom Hearts, but there is a countdown timer on the website that will be expiring on September 17th. But as of right now, we don't know what it's all pointing to. It could be something related to like a soundtrack that they're going to be releasing for Kingdom Hearts, or it could be a new 3DS spin-off game, or it could just be an iOS game. We don't know, but does that have to wait till September 17th? Let's see. <laughs> And as for a status update, my review for Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams, I finally finished the game. That last boss battle is brutal. That game is hard. So it's now time to work on the script for my review. So there will be a review sometime soon. But that will bring us to the end of the news. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for some more news videos and reviews and Nasty Nintendo crazy episodes. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!